Did you know your Fire Stick has hidden potential that most people never unlock? Today, I'm revealing the secret code that gives you access to everything. Movies, sports, PPV events, adults, and much more. And I've helped thousands of viewers set up their Fire Sticks like pros. And this guide is no different. So what's the secret? A hidden code most people don't even know exists. And here's the best part. It works no matter your experience level. Stick with me and I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on installing this code. No tech skills required. And by the end of this video, your Fire Stick will be a whole new device. So let's dive in. And step number one is heading over to your home screen on your Fire Stick. Go to the search magnifier and scroll down and click confirm on the search bar. The keyboard will now appear and we're going to type in downloader. That's D O and you can already see downloader appearing right here in the suggestions. Click confirm and it's going to be the first app you see with the orange and white. Click confirm and you'll be taken to this menu. Now you got to click confirm one last time to start the downloading and installation process. For now, we can let this run. You can press the home button to get back to the home screen. And now we want to go to our settings gear on the top right corner. This one right here. Now scroll down until you see either my Fire TV or my device. Click confirm and downloader is already installed by now. And in here you have a few options. The top option is about, enter it. And for me right here, it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Depending on the device you have, it might say a different name. What we're gonna do here is, we're gonna click the confirm button on the remote control eight times. After clicking on it eight times, you will become a developer. Right now for me, it says no need, you're already a developer. And if you're not a developer, it will probably say, congratulations, you're now a developer. You can then press the return button on the remote control and you will see the second option appearing, developer options. Click confirm to enter it. And you want to toggle on ADB debugging. That's the first step in here. Click confirm and that's it. Now scroll down and enter install unknown apps. In here, what you want to do is toggle on Downloader, the app we just installed. Just click Confirm, and that's it. Now we can press the Home button, and we can go to our apps, and find the Downloader app. Right here. Enter it. First time opening up the Downloader app, it's going to ask you to allow access to the device, so you can start installing applications through it. Click Confirm on Allow and click confirm on this message. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna scroll up with our remote control and we're gonna click confirm on the search bar. The keyboard is gonna open. And now we're gonna type in a code. And this yet is not the secret code. The secret code will come in a later stadium. The code in here is gonna be two, three, four, seven, five, three. So that's going to be 234753. Again, this is not the secret code. The secret code is coming later. We need to go through this process to be able to type in the secret code later. Hover over the go button and click confirm. Now it's going to load this application that we're downloading. Just wait patiently and it's going to start connecting and downloading the application. After that is done, it's gonna pop up this message. You have to scroll down and scroll to the right to highlight install. Click confirm and it's installing. Now that's done. Click on done and make sure to delete the file so you'll free up some space. Click delete and confirm one more time and that's it. Now press the home button on the remote control and you'll be taken back once again to the home screen. Now we want to go back to the settings gear on the top right corner. Head over again to my Fire TV or my device. In here, you want to go back to developer options. 
enter install unknown apps and toggle on the last app we just installed. That's going to be this one right here. Toggle it on by clicking the confirm button on your remote control. And now you can press the home button to be taken back here. Now let's go to our apps and find the app we just installed. Scroll all down and there it is. Let's open it up and this is where the exciting part happens with the secret code I mentioned. Here's an essential tip. Using a VPN like IPVanish is absolutely crucial with these applications. Your IP address and browsing activity are fully visible to your internet provider, putting your privacy at serious risk. Use the discount link in the description to visit their website on your phone or computer and choose a yearly or a monthly package to try it out. Don't take any chances with your privacy. Once you're ready, follow these steps to install IPVanish on your Fire Stick. On the Fire Stick home screen, click the search magnifier. Scroll down and click on the search bar. Now type in IPVanish. It's the app with this icon. Click confirm on the remote control to enter its menu and click confirm one more time to start the download and installation process. Once installed, return to the home screen, go to your apps and scroll down to find IPVanish. Press the menu button on the remote, click move and place it almost to the front. Now open the app and log in with the account you created on their website and connect it to a location of your choice. Confirm authorization for VPN settings and now you're 100% protected and you can continue. Now let's continue. Click confirm on add a new library and you want to click confirm one more time and it's going to pop up the keyboard. So the secret code is going to be A N D R O I T W E A K S. So Android tweaks. That's what it is. Now highlight next and click confirm. And you'll be taken to the secret code environment will you have over 80 applications to choose from. Oh, and you'll always see the apps I use daily right at the top. With these, you won't need anything else. They have it all. Sports, adult content, live streams, and even on-demand content, all in one place. Very important note, you wanna make sure to read the welcoming message. Because I have a hassle-free experience with the apps that I use, and I recommend them in the welcoming message. So make sure to check it out. After you've done that, click confirm on the remote control and you'll be taken to all files. Now, if you scroll down once, you'll see all files mixed together. If you go down one more time, you'll see that everything is categorized. The number one applications, adult applications, app stores, a category dedicated to Kodi, live content, media players, on-demand content, recommended apps, sports apps, tools, and tools too, and lastly, VPN. So unfortunately, you couldn't see all that. So that's a surprise for you. Make sure to check it out. For this demonstration, however, we are going to be installing an application just to demonstrate how easy it is. So for this demonstration, we're going to be installing VLC Media Player, a very common media player app that is very useful for local content. So click confirm once you've found the app you want to install and click confirm to start the downloading process. Now wait patiently for the app to get finished downloading. And this might be different depending on your internet connection and how large the file is. Now it's going to pop up this message. You want to click confirm one more time and click down and to the right. So you highlight the install button and click confirm and it's going to start installing the app. That's how easy it is to install any of these applications. And if you found an app that is not working, please let me know in the comment section below. As far as I know, a lot of these apps has been updated or added recently. So they should all work. Now click done and press the home button. 
Go to your apps and see if it's installed. Scroll the way down and there you have it. Click confirm to open it and voila, it is working. That's how easy it is to install any of these apps. And that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this video has come to an end. Please let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.